Okay, we're back, and uh, I brought Telly back because uh, it was fascinating. You, you can't bring all this camera equipment and all this new kind of stuff to me. We're going to get a shot of that thing and, and front ways. So that's really cool. Like, you can do like all kinds of 3D and uh, all sorts of other things. Also, I asked you about the parallax you get from, not the parallax, but, you know, the uh, fisheye look from GoPro. And you said that can, you can take that out with software, so that comes out really easy. And, of course, we were talking a little bit. You want to, I, sometime I, you might I'm, want to say something, but anyway, uh, so we talked about this, and he says you can carry a lot of weight. I said, what's a lot of weight? Well, not me, but it can carry a, <laughs> they can carry dual, dual cameras, they can um, hold a bigger battery, so I'm thinking, you know, two to four pounds, depending, wow. but the more weight you have, the less fly time you have. And of have. course, I'm curious about that, because they want to use them for delivery things, like this could obviously drop, uh, you know, special delivery stuff mm -hmm. on Sunday or whatever. Uh, you know, to you, and you wonder what size. I guess it could bring a, you know, an engagement ring, and even much more than that. If it's a couple of pounds, it could bring the uh, chocolate, the boxy chocolates, or a wine thing. Huh? We have a young daughter. You know, he's sending it to follow her date. So you can keep an eye on her. And her have you ever tried run. that? Really? That's pretty good. Huh? That'd be a good, it was on the news. I saw it two days ago. A guy actually um, flies one watching his daughter go to school every morning. So can you just, uh, you know, put it on, on her like a... To get this to follow you, what do you do? Does it have to follow you? Or put um, something on you, like a dot or something? It, it goes on um, Bluetooth. Um, well, it does have the GPS and the program. And actually, it will follow you. It will pick up on your signal and it will follow you. So I don't have a camera crew, so I'm out on my own. I mm -hmm. need a camera person. I have fully programmed this to follow me. Um, I, and it follows me along all by GPS. Um, it lands on its own, does everything. Everything but talks to me, and that I'm working on. Okay. So how long will that actually last for? I mean, um, that's about a 15 minute flight on this one. Um, of course, the more weight you have, the, the shorter the uh, air time you have. But yeah, I, I get a solid um, 10, 15 minutes out of this with full, fully loaded. So if you're going to follow your kids to school, hopefully they live close by. <laughs> well, they, they have smaller, smaller versions that have yeah. better battery life. Right. This one's I, I think we're kind of like talking into us, like we have our own little science fiction book going on <laughs> right, right. at the that's, same time. You know, that's that's, uh, be exciting. And, and things would be probably uh, you know more developed and everything as they go along. But how do you use this now in your documentary? Um, pretty much when I do like all the outside scenes, like if I'm jogging or doing a, shooting some B-roll, um, I'll program it. Then. Um, I mentioned to you when you first came in, I just looked at a Judge Report, and, and one of the headlines this morning was uh, joggers now use their, uh, uh, I don't just want to call it a helicopter right now, but, you know, use those uh, to jog with, to give them some company and some mm -hmm. encouragement. So you have a runner next to you with a speaker going, come on, you pick it up, pick it up, come on, let's go, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, there are people using them for accountability purposes, but I don't need to exercise, but he already got that, but I definitely need someone to help me film and this is it. Okay, you, uh, what about your website? Give people your website's address. Okay, my website is losingleathersavingfacemovie.com. Um, my Kickstarter campaign is on there. I am raising funds for the movie. Um, Global Healing Center is already my sponsor and uh, helped me get all this unique stuff to get a good head start on my film. And just put up a new trailer for everybody to check out. So if you want to see what this movie is about, go ahead and go to Losing leather, saving face movie.com. I'm just curious, you just have like trailers, you ever come back and say, well, this is a really interesting clip and have a few things, or maybe you use a Facebook account to, to do anything like that? Um, all of them. I use that every, all social media, Facebook, the whole nine yards. Okay. Because so. I'm sure it's very fascinating, uh, you know, to have this high tech equipment, you know, hooked up with cameras really gives it a great job to do right away. I know what I was thinking about, talking about the sci fi stuff, you know, because you're talking, oh, it's got the GPS and this and that. And back when I first uh, heard about the GPS, I'm, I've been thinking to myself, I says, oh my God, I really hope like if there's ever like a, a war breaks out, that uh, we like, uh, you know, we'll put in new codes to the satellites and everything, so nobody knows where everything is, because the thought of everybody knowing exactly where everything is, all the targets, just seemed to me like was such a strategic disadvantage yeah. that they'd have to get rid of that, wouldn't they? But anyway, I think we have to go. You get the last question. Say something. I'm just I'm just listening to what you're yeah, saying. I mean, it's very interesting. With all, the, with all but, of this high tech stuff, you're talking about you know this um, following people around, and I didn't get to hear about what you were talking about yeah. earlier. But it's yeah, it's, it's the world is so high tech now. It's really interesting. Can you go on YouTube and look at anything right now as far as it flying? Um, no, um, I've only had this for a couple of weeks. I'm still we're still building on it for the you know, just to be able to hold the 3D cameras in the front. Um, I yeah. brought it in here a few times already, but I'm still doing a lot of modifying. So, on yeah, it. yeah. 
But when, it, when the movie is released, it'll be all all the aerial footage will be shot from this drone. Right. Wow. Okay. That's and, exciting. Uh, I'm not sure Good how work. much time we have left. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Fifteen seconds. So, uh, once again, uh, Leatherface, tell them the name of your uh, website one more time. Losing Leather Saving Face Movie dot com. Thank you. I think we're out. We're still in.